concerns tonight. A new case of West Nile virus in the mid-state and what is believed to be a deadly case of meningitis. NTSU students are shocked first tonight and saddened after the death of 18-year-old Jacob Nunley, possibly from bacterial meningitis. Fox 17's Erica Schaefer live now from MTSU's health center where students are getting treated. And Erica, you actually had a chance to speak with one of Nunley's closest friends. That's right. Officials here believe that about 400 students received the antibiotic. All were students that they say came in close contact with Jacob Nunley. I had a chance to speak with his fraternity brother and close friend today. The scare of an MTSU student dying this morning from what doctors believe is bacterial meningitis has sent shockwaves through the campus. But it has shaken the brothers of Sigma Alpha Epsilon to the very core. You share a drink with somebody just out of, you know, here, take a drink of this and then and then you have no idea that he had no idea he had meningitis. 18-year-old Jacob Nunley from Dyersburg, Tennessee, was a freshman at MTSU and a new member of Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity. Saturday night, the fraternity held a huge party. Students say anywhere from 1,500 to 1,700 people attended. Sunday morning, Pegram tells us Nunley went to the emergency room complaining of flu-like symptoms, and Monday morning he was pronounced dead. Students who came in close contact with Nunley were asked to go to the health center for an antibiotic. Akoya Gibbons was given the antibiotic, and she says she saw several people in line for the drug who attended the party with her at Sigma Alpha Epsilon on Saturday night. Going through the line and just seeing the faces and the sad faces and the friends and, and the people that knew him, you know, um, it was just, it was really sad to see. Dr. Eric Clark, medical director for MTSU, says the bacteria spreads by close contact, drinking or eating after someone, or coming in contact with them after a sneeze or a cough. Clark says the faster students get treated, the better, because the illness can spread quickly. The bacteria, if it gets into the respiratory system, can spread uh, through the bloodstream and into the uh, spinal fluid and its consequences are fairly dramatic and quick. Clark says thanks to Facebook and Twitter, they were able to get large amounts of students into the health center quickly, but he wants to make sure that no one who came in close contact with Jacob Nunley goes untreated so the university doesn't have to live through another tragedy. And just like today, the University Health Center here will be open for extended hours tomorrow. That will be until 6 p.m. And coming up, we have more on Jacob Nunley from those who knew him best. Live from MTSU, Erica Schaefer, Fox 17 News.